Have you uh, ever wanted to kick the butts of several bats? I don't know if you have, but that's what we're gonna do today as we continue our journey in Skyward Sword. I am ready for battle. Get slapped, bats. I'm sorry, I'm too good for your face. You get poked. And I get money. <laughs> what is, what, who are you? Wait, so we found out that Groose took my bird. Cheese, get away. We found cheese in this cave and nobody was listening to Link, but uh, we're gonna retrieve cheese. No, get, shoot, go away. You gotta, you gotta, they get away from me. What are you doing? I cannot get used to these controls. I might just go back to motion controls. I can't believe. I see you, f I see you dingus. Wait, I almost see you. There we go. I see you dingus, come here, get slapped. I'm sorry, it was my destiny. I am in search of cheese. It's me at the grocery store looking for cheese. I do the same thing. People down the aisle, I just slap them. Well, where are we? Where are we? Wait a second. I can, I, I do not get used to these controls. Uh, the cheese should be here. I don't want, I don't have beef with the statue, Link. Jesus. Oh my goodness, it's Zelda. Yeah, I've been enjoying this game so far. I know this is the introduction and hopefully it's not like too long, the whole tutorial. Still having tons of fun. I don't know. It's just, it's a new Zelda game. How's your search going? Any sign of your loft wing? Actually, no. There's a place up ahead that Groose and his gang are always hanging around. Maybe we'll find something there. Will I find Groose? Are we gonna throw hands? Oh, huh? What's going on? Is, is something happening? Who? Who's that? Ooh, who's calling for me? Oh, sorry, Bread. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Are you coming with me, Zelda? Oh, Jesus. I hope that I get my controls correct because I was swinging the sword around like I didn't know how to swing it around. What are you waiting around for, Bread? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go get your loft wing. I was just checking up on you. Oh, Jesus. That's what I'm afraid of. Sorry, Zelda. Wait. There we go. Who is here? Is it Groose, my loft wing? Look, there he is. My baby. Cheese! Zelda, just just you wait, Zelda. I'm gonna impress you. I'm gonna impress you by my barrel destroying tactics and I'm gonna free you, Cheese. Wait, I have to get a good look at him first. <laughs> I love you, baby. I already love you. You might be slightly terrifying as the shoe bill bird creature that you are. Can we do one of these? Oh, maybe these. Oh, oh, boom. Groove thought that bread was going to be deterred by, by some string. This string of events calls for freedom for cheese. He's free. My precious son. The happiness I feel in this moment. Big scream. They're adorable. My heart is full. And the soundtrack is beautiful. The designs are lovely. Why would Groose do this to my burb? We should hurry, Bread. Now that your loft wing is free, you should fly to the ceremony. You can count on that, Zelda. What's up, wait? But before you go, I have to ask you something. I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? It's the strangest feeling. Almost like someone is calling out to me. Could it be Nintendo asking you to uh, go on a journey to make this game? Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Zelda, you're dropping some really heavy questions. Some of father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world under there far more vast than Skyloft. Someday I wanna see for myself. I think someday is really soon. Depending on how long we play, Probably within the next couple hours. <laughs> Let's get going. Look, your bird's waiting for you. We get to fly on a bird. Let's do this, Link. Get on your crimson loft wing. We've been reunited. Oh God, I love this. How, lo how often are we gonna fly on, uh, on cheese? I'm super excited about this. Look at his little feet. He's so cute. She's telling us to do a fast dive. Sure, that's a fast dive, baby. Oh, my controllers are vibrating for the fast dive. I'm too fast. Have I said this before? I love the music. <laughs> You're gonna hear me say it this whole time. So how's he handling? Do you think he's flying all right? I think he's flying beautifully. Link and Cheese just jiving to the music. This is me essentially in my chair. <laughs> my father and the others are probably worried about your bird. So let's go give them the good news. I don't think it's good for Groose. Let's ruin Groose's day. I'm pretty sure Groose is gonna be like, okay afterwards. I'm guessing. If I'm wrong, that's kind of, well, I mean, he is who he is. So what can I do? I'm gonna fly back and tell father what happened. Sayonara. Oh, Groose, what are you What are you gonna tell me? You think I haven't found my bird? You're almost a man, and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. Groose, your jealousy is written on your forehead. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess in today's ceremony. Or at, more like. Sorry, I got my words wrong there. And I'm gonna be the one to claim that sailcloth. There's a sailcloth to claim? Oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. <laughs> 
Yup, I could see it now. First I win the big race and then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. Gross! Behind you! Right behind you! Zelda, perhaps? Can't you two see I'm in the middle of... <laughs> <laughs> Zelda's everywhere where she needs to be at all times. Care to explain just what you meant by our special moment alone? Yeah, Groose, explain it to her. Bread! Yeah, I was just telling my buddy here how glad I was he found that red bird of his. How about you stop lying, Groose? Goodness me, look at him waddle off. I know you've got these guys beat, and deep down, I think you do too. Oh jeez, us alone? Yeah, that's like Groose's worst nightmare. I, I don't know. Give me a pep talk, Zelda. Aw, don't be nervous. You can do this. Thank you, Zelda. Your attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will then release to the skies. Oh, we're catching this bird. Oh, oh god. Yeah. Boom. Oh god, I'm scared. Truly terrified. Wait a second. Why? Oh, Jesus. Wait. Oh, Jesus. Guys, I don't know if I'm gonna... I keep going down. Okay, guys. I, um... I'm glad the game just let me... Uh, figure this out because I actually was just failing so hard. Oh god! Oh jeez, we're so close! No! Whoa! Whoa! Shit! <laughs> oh, we're so close! Hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory, Goose? Don't you dare! Yeah, you heard him! Let's see how you fly with egg on your face! How dare you guys! Thanks, I had breakfast already. And you know what kind of breakfast you guys are gonna have? Breakfast for losers. Oh, Jesus. There's something we are doing wrong here. Or are we doing it right? I spoke too soon! Yes! Go on, Link! Yes! Oh, jeez, that wasn't painful. Oh, he's so happy. What's going on? Oh my goodness, with the- Whoa, holy moly! <laughs> Why is this so wholesome? Why is this so cute? Don't worry, I'm fine! Why are they so cute, guys? I- Great flying bread. Congratulations! Aww! I'm glad cheese can carry two people. Bread, hand me that bird statuette you grabbed in the race. I must offer it to the goddess. Yeah, sure, no problem. Take all my tears, my blood, sweat, and tears, and give it to the goddess. You know, like, music makes you feel things? This is one of those soundtracks. In accordance with the old ways, I now bestow the blessings of the goddess upon you. Right, we're getting the sailcloth. Was she wearing it this whole time? Zelda, you were wearing it this whole time? Is that not such a cool detail? I'm loving the, the whole feeling of this game right now. It's really nice. <laughs> Does Link just get up and do this as some music plays in front of Zelda? Now you can jump from any height without fear of a painful landing. Perfect, so this is the, uh, this is the, uh, why, why can't I remember the name of it? This is like the paraglider. It smells nice too. Ho, ho, I, ho, the, the way they added that in. I've been working hard to finish making the sailcloth in time to give it to today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Bread. Make sure you take good care of it, okay? Now I'm scared. Things are so, so happy and nice that I'm scared. Now we really should finish up this ritual. You do know what happens at the end, right? Uh-oh. A sort of. Uh, I, nope. I have no idea. I'm gonna be sincere here and just say nope. I thought you would have figured it out by now. I was born like an hour ago. I'm sorry. Could you just remind me, Zelda? Oh dear. You have to jump off the statue. Is she gonna throw him off again? Do you love me, Zelda? <laughs> Do you always push bread over the, the edge of things, Zelda? Oh jeez. I think we just did something wrong. I can't get used to these controls, Zelda. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, there we go. I might. I keep getting my sword out. Zelda, I will not fail you after the third time. I am the. Ch I, Brett is your champion. I promise. There we go. Jeez, that didn't take three tries. That was perfect. You're amazing, Bread. You guys are wholesome. Do you know that? Do you know that both of you are making me feel happy on the inside? You know, Bread. Seeing as how you won today, this was like end of game vibes. Is this the end of Skyward Sword, everybody? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series. You think maybe you'd like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together? Aw, is this when Zelda gets into trouble? Because I think that's what happens. Today was amazing. Watching you win the race and performing the ritual together. I'll always remember this. I'm scared.
Is it normal of me to feel scared? You know when things are going too well? Look at those feet. They have more rhythm than me when I dance. <laughs> you know, Brad, am I gonna hear the end of the sentence? There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. God, uh, gu guys, you know when you just know something's gonna go wrong? Zelda, I don't know if I want, I am, I, well, here we go. Here we go, guys. Oh dear. Nani? <laughs> what is that? Jeez, no. Oh no. What's going on? No, Zelda! Oh my goodness. Everything's literally gone south. We're gonna have a vision? Someone's calling him. Oh, I know, I, I know who this is already, but I don't know the entire story, okay? Like I said, spoilers, but I tried not to have spoilers. The time has come for you to awaken. Ooh, destiny's calling. You are vital to a mission of great importance. Did she see that too? Were we both there? Oh, are we gonna try and grab her? Can we try and save her? Oh, jeez. No. Oh my goodness, toothpaste beast. I mean, the beast that needs the, the lots of toothpaste. Ah, you're awake. Oh no, Guy Porag, did you see what happened to your daughter? When your loft wing carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. Oh, everything was so... everything was so happy. Where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's happened to my daughter? Ah, uh, Link is... Link... I think this is the first time I've seen Link talk so much. That was no ordinary storm. Guy Porag, you have all those books, you know something, don't you? Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem off? She seemed like the sweetest person on earth, but she was sensing a bunch of stuff. She threw a letter at my face. I see, she was talking about the surface then. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her loft wing, I'm sure she'll be fine. It would be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of night. It would also be very dangerous. But I think I'm gonna go do that. Rest now, bread. Zelda's going to be fine. Is Link gonna fall back to sleep again or sneak out? I'm gonna say sneak out. <gasps> We're hearing that voice again. We are definitely sneaking out. Sorry, Guy Pora, we are not resting. In the morning, I was beckoned by Zelda's face letter. Tonight, I am beckoned by this magical fairy named Fee, I believe. Where are we going? To the statue of the goddess? Oh, jeez. Link can really jump in this game. <gasps> it's Mia. Zabumafu? Oh my, what the heck is that? What the... We have to slap you? Um, guys, I'm really confused. I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that to Mia. Oh, oh, oh God. Uh, what are we supposed to do? Link is pretty happy about it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Mia's like possessed? You know what? Wait a second, guys. I'm gonna change as, as much as motion control seem like not the right way. I can't get used to this. Wait up. Go on, Link. We have to meet up with, with feet, with, with this magical being. I'm sorry, magical being. I needed to fix my controls. I was being an absolute dingus. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. I'm, my destiny is calling. I can't have you around here. I'm sorry. We are at the statue of the goddess. I knew it. Come back. It's like my cat running away from me when I'm trying to tell it to go somewhere. Oh, don't tell me we can go inside the statue of the goddess. Ooh, this is interesting. Is the statue gonna do something? Please let there not be any blood moons here. Oh, we're inside the statue. What could be it? Oh my, is that the master sword? That's been in here this whole time? Wait, that's not the master sword. That's right, wait, no, okay, I, wait. Okay, I get, I, I believe we forged the master sword in this game, right? The one chosen by my creator. I've been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Fee is the name I was given. You must take up this sword as the one chosen by my creator, it is your destiny. And this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you set out to search for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? I <laughs> run for it, Link. We can do this, we can grab it. What's that over there? She wants me to grab the sword, but can I just ignore her and go for this instead? Okay, I guess not. All right, Fee, I'll grab the sword. I'm gonna examine it. Ready stance. <laughs> what? Oh jeez, that was so cool. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I've got my arm in the air. Okay, that was unexpected. That was cool. Oh, you got the goddess sword. Recognition complete, master. Bread, my master. 
Sometimes bread is my master when I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, it's Gaipora. What is he doing here? I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Was it something in your books, Gaipora, that told you about this? Yet here we are in the Chamber of the Sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. This is no easy task, Brett. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. Don't worry, Gaipora, it's his destiny. Ooh, could it be clothing? I'm waiting for Link to get dressed in green. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Is it a piece of map? Take it and place it within the altar behind me. Oh, oh, never mind. All right. You got the emerald tablet. Do we have to collect different tablets? Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with a skyward strike. I was hitting it before, but I didn't know what a skyward strike was. Thank you, Fee. I don't think I was capable of that. Oh, hi, Gaiapora. Can I talk to him? What if we just hung out here and had like a tea party? Oh, oh, okay. I got it. I got Wait, 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 wait. I need a good angle on this. This is important. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. Well, that's what it was supposed to do. Lesson learned. You don't slap things nilly-willy. Examine. He just slipped into examination. Oh, so we're gonna have to come back here and put more stone slabs together, I bet. Is like a part of the map, or are we lighting up certain things? Are we, what are we doing? An area we can go to, I wonder? A portal? Uh, 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 what's it called? Where you can jump to places? Oh, this is like a, a warp portal. Is that what it is? Why don't I just let them tell me instead of me being like, is it this, is it that? Master Bread, it is done. I should have called myself Shifu. And then Fee could have been like, Master Shifu, it is done. <laughs> the tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press down button to summon me whenever you require my assistance. I pressed down button for cheese, now I press down button for fee. Can I press down button to get a bagel or an English muffin? Oh! Oh, cool! You have a great journey before you, bread. And these clothes. They don't look up to the task. Uh, finally, someone is speaking of Link's clothing. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. Is that what he gets to wear the tunic? Yes! Ah, uh, nice. I'm so excited. I'm sad about Zelda, but I'm excited. Take care on your journey and be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. You mean shield? I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. You do that, Gaipora. What is Groose gonna say when he sees my green clothing? I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. Oh, we're getting some for Fletch? Oh, jeez. We got an adventure pouch. Nice. Thank you, Fletch. We can carry stuff with us, like a shield. <laughs> I love the music, the determination, the you go do your thing, uh, Link. We're going to talk to a couple of people so they can pep me up about my clothing. Doesn't he look handsome? I bet Zelda would be really happy to see you in that. I bet you should just be really happy to see him in anything. Is Guy Pora still in there? Uh, I thought you said you were going to go read your text. I guess... I, I didn't see anything. What if I ignored you for being nasty, you dingus? Can I... Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, oh my God. I can throw it. Guys, I just... Yes. This is the reason why I'm the chosen hero. All right. Thanks for letting me destroy your pots. Made me the happiest person on Earth. I mean, on Skyloft. I gotta go get a shield. Oh, oh, this looks wonderful. Another culinary delight ready to be savored and enjoyed. Could you give me some? I'm sure Link is starving by now. I haven't seen the boy eat a morsel of food. Your eyes do not... Give do you may choose not to believe me, but my eyes foresee a hazardous thorny road to ahead for you. When he came out as a baby, when the doctor was holding him, it must have been really hard not to drop him by accident. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Sparrow. You have beautiful eyes. Seriously, those are some really shiny eyes. Oh, what could this be? No, Fee, what? Wait! This treasure chest-like object is a relic of ancient times left by the goddess for her chosen hero. However, I lack any information on how it can be opened at this time. You think that's gonna stop me from trying? Oh, I guess, well, I, uh, okay. Oh, there's a shield. Ah, uh, some people scare me. Hey, you there. Yes, you, the adorable boy with the golden hair. Ah, oh, thank you. Love, is she supposed to have a British accent? Let me tell you. One look at you and I can tell you'll need my potions by the cauldron full. For some reason, I like you though, so I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here in the store. Wonderful. Thank you, love. If you ever get to the point, I hope as I listen back to this while editing that I'm not just cringing with you guys as I speak English. British English. Restore four hearts is 30... Okay, wait. 
Before we buy a potion, I'm sorry. I need to get a shield from the man who scares me. I'm so sorry, Rupin. I don't mean to be mean. Please take a moment for your senses to savor the wonderful treasures I have prepared just for you, friend. Yes, I want to buy this. Give me a shield. Oh, that, that's, that's wonderful. This isn't slightly terrifying at all. I don't know if I should trust Mia or not. You stay there. This is the corner of uncertainty. I'm not, I'm not sure about you. Oh my, uh, that would have been scary last night, but it's kind of cute this time. That's going to be it for this episode. I think it's going to be it for like the tutorial bit. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. I don't know where the heck I'm taking you, but I'm taking you somewhere.